How Tornadoes Work A while ago I watched several videos about tornadoes and how they work. From physics perspective, none of them made sense. They would say something like the air moves this way and wouldn't explain why. Nothing just moves unless there is a force that's causing it. So those videos left me with four questions. How does hot air gets trapped under the cold air? Why cold air and hot air don't mix? Why air spins and not just goes straight? What conditions are necessary for a tornado to occur? One morning, while I was still in bed and half asleep, I was thinking about it. And suddenly I saw a clear picture of how it works. All pieces of puzzle fell into place. So here is my explanation. Air, as any other gas, has different density at different temperatures. The colder, the denser. Earth's surface has different temperatures at different places, causing the air to heat up or cool down. If hot and cold air meet, the cold air is denser, and thus it goes below the hot air. This causes movement in air masses in the atmosphere, wind. When cold air gets above the hot surface, the bottom part of the cold air heats up. Now we have an unstable state. Light, hot air is below the heavy cold air. Naturally, the hot air goes up and cold goes down. In most cases, the hot and cold air just mix, causing just a mild wind. But if the surface is hot enough, it keeps producing hot air faster than it cools down and mixes with the cold air. So hot air keeps moving up until it punctures through the blanket of the cold air. This is like popping up a balloon. We also might see it as a pump. Cold air works like a piston. Now, why the air that goes up spins? That's simple. The cold air is denser, more solid. It works like a funnel. Remember water going down the drain in the bathtub? I can explain that in details too, but that would be a separate topic. Now, last question. What conditions are necessary for a tornado to occur? We have already looked at some of them, but now let's look in more details. This also might help us to predict if a tornado will occur or not. The cold air blanket should move fast enough, otherwise there will be not enough contrast and scale. The surface should be hot enough to produce hot air fast enough. The difference in temperature between hot air and cold air blanket should be big enough. Note that the thicker the blanket, the harder it is to puncture it. But if you do, a stronger tornado will form, because the piston is heavier. If we gather enough of this data and do statistical analysis, we may get a fairly accurate model that would predict a chance of a tornado.